So I am very, very, very happy um, to welcome this awesome scholar. Uh, please join me welcoming Dr. Okada. Thank you. Thank you very much for your too much kind introduction. Um, I'm so pleased and um, I am um, appreciate that I have a great opportunity to give, you, give my talk here at the C CJS noon lecture. And I also would like to thank all of you participated. I hope you will enjoy my talk today. Okay, um, I will start. Today, I would like to talk about the characteristic of the art form and its historical context, taking example from the Kyomai Preservation in Kyoto's Geisha Quarter. I will begin by introducing Kyomai, a traditional dance from Kyoto, Japan's ancient capital. There used to be several dance schools in Kyoto in late Edo period. However, the Inoue school is the only one only dance school that has operated continuously. I have been conducted research on the Inoue school for 20 years, and my PhD last year from Waseda University in Tokyo focused on the study of Kyomai. As introduced, my first book on Kyomai <coughs> will be published in uh, early next year. In that work, I deal with the history of the dance rather than my anthropological research at the Inoue school. Compared to kabuki or other types of Japanese performance, kyomai is not a popular form. The historical materials on kyomai are fairly limited, which has made writing a well-documented history a challenge. More importantly, I have uncovered a new historical perspec perspective on performing art, and it gives me great pleasure to present this new angle today. First of all, I would like to show you a brief video clip of Kyomai. Uh, this is the opening of TV program that was broadcast in 2000. The program focuses on the succession of headmasters of the school. Okay. Please start the DVD. Define the culture. Even today, mention of spring conjures visions of blossoms. Cherry trees symbolize to Japanese the start of all things new, the revelation of fresh hope. The Miyako Otori, born, bred, and preserved only in Kyoto's Kion district, is the quarter's quintessential dance and the centerpiece of a festival held each spring when the cherry blossoms are at their peak. Twice a year, in spring and in autumn, Maiko and Geiko dance together before the public. These are the only times that most will ever see the fruits of their daily training. Maiko are young women just graduated from middle school who come to live in Gion and learn traditional dance. When their skills mature, the Maiko graduate to Geiko, Geisha, as they are known in the West. All Geiko and Maiko perform a genre of dance known as Kyomai, dance of the capital. For all of its subtlety, Kyomai is technically demanding. Unique among other dance genres, it incorporates elements of classical theater, the no. Inoue Yachio IV is the sole Kyomai master, the head of a dynastic dance tradition whose members all take the surname Inoue. She began training at the age of three in recognition of Kyomai's historical importance and Yachio's peerless artistry, she was designated a living national treasure by the Japanese government at age 49. She is now 95. 
And this year, Yachio has decided it is time to pass the title on to her granddaughter, Michiko. Inoue Michiko has been groomed since birth to become Yachio V. For 40 years, she has trained under Yachio's demanding gaze. Through this same lifelong transmission from master to disciple, the forms and spirit of Kyomai have been nurtured and preserved for more than 200 years. For the first time, the crucial moment of succession has been captured on film. Okay, thank you. You stop here. Okay, um, as you saw, Kyomai is known as the dance of the geisha in Gion, the most popular geisha quarter in Japan. And uh, the video clip started with the, an annual public performance. We saw the former headmaster Inoue Yachio IV. She passed away at the age of 98 in March 2004. We also saw the present headmaster Inoue Yachio V. She was a granddaughter of the former headmaster. In this clip, I think you noticed that the dance was slow, calm, quiet, and comprised uh, of few movements. When I first saw Inoue Yachio the Force perform Kyomai, the quiet dance really impressed me. Uh, Inoue was already in her mid 80s. Her movement was slow, but quite charged. She was full of power. She hardly moved. She just stood on the stage. But even just standing, she was so powerful that the eyes of the thousand audience members were transfixed on her, an old lady, all of four and a half feet tall. It was different from any performance I had ever seen. It was really mysterious and fascinating that the dance dancer who did not move much could be so affecting. Then I started to read about Inoue Yachio the Force and realized that she was head of her school and I also knew that she was a dance teacher in Japan's most famous geisha quarter. There were not many opportunities to see her on the public stage since her main profession was teaching and choreographing dances for the geishas. After that first event, I have tried to see her at every public performance. And this is the timeline of the Inoue School. The first document, which refers to Inoue Yachio, the traditional name of every headmaster of the school, dates in 1822. It is a food full of the celebrities in Kyoto at that time and mentions Yachio, choreographer of dance. Mai no Furitsuke no Yachio. I take this document as proof of the existence of the choreographer named Yachio. She might have been Inoue Yachio the first, 56 years old then, or Inoue Yachio the second, 28 years old. Additionally, two 1830s documents mention Inoue Yachio the first by her retirement name, Gyokuren. Those documents certify the existence of the talented founder of the school and demonstrate that the school has a history of 200 years. Since each headmaster lived a long life, there have been only four over, over 200 years. And it is significant that the second headmaster passed away the very year of the major restoration. In other words, the first and the second headmasters were active in what we call pre-modern Japan, while the third lived in the modern era. Then, uh, what are the characteristic of, char characteristics of the Inoue school? It has been said that no theater and puppet theater have especially influenced the dance of Inoue school, while kabuki theater has influenced other forms of the Japanese traditional dance. No and puppet theater and kabuki are Japan's three major ja tra theater traditions. So this kind of explanation particularizes Inoue school in terms of the art form.
Let's see how this characterization has taken shape. Historically, the Inoue school has claimed to be influenced by no theater, as you have heard in the video clip. In 1905, the then headmaster Inoue Yachiyo III said in an interview in an art magazine, Galin, people tend to think that Inoue school imitates no theater since they look alike. But that is not true. From the period of Inoue Yachiyo I, our dance has been elegant. And this elegance is common to no theater and our Inoue school. In fact, record shows that they seem to have created a dance piece similar to no theater. I show here one of the programs from 1874. Inoue Yachiyo III performed Kantan. She was written in her real name, Haru. It mentions Mai, the dance, but it also written Hongyo Godan no Gaku in the original form of five layers. I think the original form here means no theater. So she says that she does not imitate no theater, but in fact, her dance was similar to no. A book that mentioned this performance was published later, and it says Inoue Haru no Sangaku, the no dance of Inoue Haru again in real name. People clearly thought that she had performed no dance. Besides, Inoue Yachiyo was married to professional no actor Katayama Shinzo. Katayama belonged to the Kanze school, the biggest school in no theater, and he was one of the leading no actors in Kyoto then. Both Inoue and Katayama were well-known artists of the time. Katayama organized no performances at Gion Theater. This is one of the program. And he was once disciplined by the headmaster of Kanze School for teaching no dance to geisha in Gion. This marriage connection also supported the perception that Inoue imitated no theater. In her 1905 interview, Inoue seemed unhappy that others said she copied no dance. But her attitude to this charge varied, and I cannot judge whether the change is due to the writer or what Inoue actually said. Sometimes she denied the influence of the no theater, and sometimes she was proud of the implication. The influence of the puppet theater has been noted by those outside the Inoue school. In 1906, the newspaper Osaka Asahi Shimbun wrote that Inoue Yachiyo I introduced the movement of puppets into dance. The writer of this article expresses high regard for her originality and creativity. Then in 1911, we find the expression Ningyo Shiki no Miburi, movement in puppet style, in a review of a dance called Kane Kanemichi in Enge Gahon magazine. This piece originally came from traditional puppet theater, and the Inoue school took the original music and choreographed a dance of puppet-like movements. An eminent Japan Japanese theater scholar, Tsubouchi Shoyo, also witnessed the same dance. And in 1918, he wrote in an article claiming that there seem to be two categories in the Inoue repertoires. One, created by the present headmaster, is related to no theater. The other, choreographed by former headmasters, is related to puppet theater. Tsubouchi's understanding is an important source of this interpretation of Inoue school works. Since the only possible source of information was Inoue III, the 1906 newspaper article must have been based on what Inoue told the journalist. But in her interviews, she never mentioned any similarity to puppet theater. Later, in 1934, her grandson published an article Inoue Yachiyo gave up, Inoue Yachiyo's talk on art. Inoue, at the age of 97, made first mention of the influence of puppet theater. 
when she admitted that the roots of the dance of Inoue school are in the No and the Puppet Theater traditions. This grandson of Inoue III was also a professional No actor and married to Inoue IV. He wrote many articles on No and Kyo Mai dance, and he wove a history of Inoue school from interviews with his grandmother, Inoue III. His work and also other articles emphasize the influence of No and puppet theater. But why would only the Inoue school base their style on No and puppet theater? This question has become a major issue. Inoue III's grand grandson explained that former headmasters had learned the style from no actors and also from professional artists of the pet theater. Specific names were mentioned. Inoue II was said to admire Nomura Sanjiro, a um, talented no actor belonging to Congo school, and she also learned the movement of puppet from the popular puppet artists, Yoshida Senshi, Yoshida Hyokichi, and Yoshida Yacho. All these artists are recorded in various historical materials. However, mere communication with artists in other art forms is not why the Inove school adopted these styles. I do not think new dances are created without forethought. Still, almost all articles on the Inove school repeat the explanation that Inove the first and the second borrowed the directory from these other artists. Watanabe Tamotsu, a famous theater critic and scholar of today, has posed the same question. He has tried to work out the reason behind the characteristics of Inove school dance. He concludes that it is all based on the female body. He presumed that women in pressure quarter tended to flirt. Inoue thought this kind of coquetry was an obstacle, ob to, obstacle to artistic expression. So to interrupt this flirtatious attitude, Inoue applied no and puppet theater style to their dance. Usually, actors in no theater wear a mask, and masks and puppets can be said to have a mechanical way of expression. Watanabe concluded that Inoue incorporated these other art forms in her dance so that the dancer can conceal her fema femaleness. Watanabe dis Watanabe's discussion can be read in his book, Nihon no Buyo, Dance of Japan, which was published in 1991. When I read this ex his explanation of the Inoue school style, it did not ring true. I never got this impression from Inoue's dance pieces or dancers. Can no and, and puppet theater styles be armor for the female dancers? I do not agree to his premise that women in the pressure quarter were invariably coquettish. And if we think historically, it is not possible to know for sure how geishas act in the late Ed period. As I said at the beginning, I was able to co collect only scattered bits of evidence concerning the Inoue school. Since those resources were so limited, I also explored the history of the other schools of the dance in the Kyoto and Osaka areas. When I bro broadened my research, I discovered that the Inove school was not, after all, so unique in that area in the late Edo period. It was rather representative of dance groups in, of its era. From looking through surviving programs of the dance performances and period anthologies of dance songs, the dance repertoires seen only in the Inove school today was clear, clearly also performed by other schools. If the repertoires of the Inove school was not unique, the way of the, the dance, dances were choreographed, 
might well have been common among dance schools of the day. To create a dance, the choreographer works from existing dance songs. Even the innovative headmasters choreographs to existing songs. She did not write lyrics or compose music. The adaption of the North style suggests that dance music from North theatre already existed. And in fact, many dance songs adapted from North theatre may be found in anthologies from the Edo period. Um, I have mentioned Kantan as a dance in the North style. The title refers to both the dance and the No piece. The no piece is based on the Chinese legend in which a young man stops at an inn a village in a village called Kantan. He takes a nap, resting his head on a famous pillow, also called Kantan, by which people were said to attain spiritual enlightenment. The young man was named emperor and reigned for 50 glorious years. He was enjoying enjoying dancing and drinking, but was suddenly awakened by the hostess of the inn. It has all been a dream of a few minutes as the hostess cooked his rice. The young man realized that life was an empty, empty dream and returned to his home village. Kantan of No Theater dramatized this whole story, but the dance version focuses on the young man's enjoyed dancing and drinking in his dream. When Inove III danced this piece, she is said to have danced in its in manner of no performance. Today, Kantan is the unique to Inove school, though I discovered the same lyrics in several anthologies of popular songs from Edo period such as Ito no Fushi, Tune of Threat, published in 1794 and again in 1814 and in 1836. Both of the versions include Kantan. Ito referred to the strings of the shamisen, and this anthology of shamisen songs were published in Kyoto. Those songs are now called Jiuta or folk song. Ji means area or region, and Uta means song. But after people in Kyoto and Osaka began to call their song, popular songs Jiuta, this term came to refer only to songs from the Kyoto and Osaka area. The Jiuta includes many songs taken from North Theater. This is to say, the influence of North Theater was felt widely among various art forms in the Kyoto and Osaka area. Moreover, no was quite popular um, around the pleasure quarter. This is the program of the no performance played by women there. The organization of performance is the same as a regular no performance. This once took place in Osaka in 1831. An essay, Ume no Hatsuhana, The First Blossom of the Plum, was written about this particular performance by Watanabe Yasunori. In this in the essay descri description, some of the actresses did not wear masks. Sometimes they danced follow the no manner, but sometimes they danced accompanied by shamisen, which was not used in no theater. This same phenomenon was reported on the performance by Geisha of Gion, which took place in 1818. This is a record of the performance. The women performers are dancing without no masks in their cust customary way, but they call their performance no. Another example here is an uh, annual ritual of the pleasure quarter, which included a costume palette in which they dressed like character types from no plays. Thus, no theater's influence can be seen in cultural events throughout the area. The same is true for the puppet theater. Since Japanese puppet theater originated in the Osaka area, it is natural that it remained popular there. Songs from puppet theater were also quite popular. 
several documents mention Gida Yu Geisha, who was an expert at singing those songs. The songs were so popular that many ordinary people learned them and enjoyed singing along with the geishas. But puppet theater's popularity has declined and many pieces were lost. Kanemichi is one of those. The dance Kanemichi is about a man who has lost his wits. It was originally a part of a piece called Dai Dairi Otomo no Matori, which has not been performed since Meiji period. The dance Kanemichi was performed by the Inoue school into, na- into the 1930s. I have met a geisha who danced Kanemichi, and she told me some of peculiar features of the dance. But in the Edo period, name Kanemichi as a dance title appears in program of other schools dance performance. And also as a name as a named costume in the parade at the annual rituals in 1836. In those days, this dance and its original puppet piece used to be quite popular. The script of puppet theater were usually published, and the lyrics to popular scenes also appeared in a handbook. The number of those books are proof of not only the popularity of the form, but also suggest that many people enjoyed learning the songs. The scene of Kanemichi dancing was also published. The accompanying songs was well known, and because of its popularity, the dance must have been choreographed. From the today's point of view, it is unusual and even special that the Inoue school preserved many pieces based on no and puppet theater, but exploration of Edo documents shows that it was quite natural the role of those repertoires. The next example, Mosa Junrei, no longer is seen in other schools of traditional Japanese dance today. Uh, Mosa Junrei is a dance of, uh, of the country pilgrim. Its lyrics are also unique and cannot be found in historical documents. I managed to find this title in an anthology of dance music published in 1819. But the lyrics then were quite different. However, if you look carefully at the documents, there is a note that says you can add other lyrics to this song, and you may add one of the known lyrics as well. This suggests that several versions of the song were in circulation, and it could be arranged freely to express provincialisms of the country pilgrim, Mosa Junrei must have been a medley of pastoral songs. Mosa Junrei can also be found in the, in the program of Persia Quarters Costume Parade, and there is a record of dance in other schools in Meiji period. Obviously, the motif of the country pilgrim, Mosa Junrei, was widely popular but only Inoue has continued to perform it. Again, the historical record on dance dance points to not the uniqueness, but rather the representativeness of the Inoue school. As a general dance school of the Kyoto and Osaka area in the late period, Inoue naturally adapted no and puppet theater pieces. Since those songs were popular, and they were powerful and useful means for entertaining people. That the early Inoue headmaster learned no and puppet techniques from the professional artists was no accident, but a logical strategy for an emerging school of dance. However, it is also fair to say that the Inoue school repertoire is unique today. To conclude, I would like to think more about this issue. The strength of the Inoue school is not the creation of traditional dance, but its conservation. After the major restoration, the Inoue school was selected to a dance school for Gion geishas, and I believe the geisha community has preserved the art form of this school. How has modernity transfigured the relation between geisha quarter and dance schools. Uh, 
Today, each geisha quarter in Kyoto has its own dance school. Gion has the Inoue School and Pontocho, where the American geisha scholar Liza Darby conducted her anthropological research, has Onoeryu, and so on. But before the Meiji period, all the schools taught geishas from various quarters, and each geisha quarter let their women learn the dances of various schools. There was no favoritism or special patronizing of one school over other, another. The trigger of this change was the establishment of the geisha schools. After the Meiji restora Restoration, each geisha quarter established its own training for geishas. Public primary schools were also established for the first time then. Geisha communities carefully followed the pattern of modernization. Their schools originally aimed to help women leave the geisha district, and they taught practical subjects such as needlework. But later, school changed to encourage the students to work as geisha, and they began to officially teach dance and music. The organization of the geisha district needed to hire specific dance teachers for their schools, where they would teach geishas belonging to this, that district. In Ove the third, the headmaster after the Meiji restoration was hired by the Gion Geisha School. A document of 1875 lists her as a teacher of dance. Inoue was a choreographer and instructor and helped establish the public performance called Miyako Odori in 1872. You have seen this, this performance in the video clip. The Inoue school had been located in Gion since the early Meiji period, and this relationship has continued to the present. Why can the geisha community be regarded as a preserver of traditional dance? The accompanying music seems to be the secret. The greatest difference between arts in the geisha community and those in society at large in an accompanist. In the geisha district, geisha sing and play instruments while other geisha dance. In the larger world, the professional dancer dances and the professional musicians and singers take part in the ac accompanying music. If a geisha dance outside their district, they have to take geisha musicians out with them or hire professional musicians. While geisha musicians can be taught according to necessity, the professional musicians are subject to current trends in music. But geishas are not dependent on trends. So the Inove school can retain their unique repertoires even after the original piece is no longer performed anywhere else, as we saw the, in the example of Kanemichi. However, every geisha community lost its Gidayu geishas in the 1960s, with the loss of popularity of puppet theater. After the World War II, more Western music was introduced to Japan, and the people no longer wanted to sing the songs from puppet theater with the geishas. And the disappearance of Gidayu geisha implies the loss of the dance taken from puppet theater. As I told you before, the kanemichi has not been danced for 70 years, and the geisha who last dances, danced is, it passed away 15 years ago. So it is impossible to dance kanemichi today. Neither the music nor dance have survived. However, in the last glorious days in the 1960s, geisha communities worked well as a place of preservation. Thanks to the training system for music and dance, traditional dance was successfully conserved. While many schools of the dance came and went, the Inove school has remained established in Gion, likely for complex reason. Gion was a leading community among Kyoto's geisha quarters, and it was well organized and wealthy. 
Both Gion and Inoue have enjoyed the advantage of a long fixed relationship, and so that Inoue School has succeeded in maintaining its unique characteristic throughout Japanese modernity. To conclude, the distinction of the Inoue School of Dance lies not in its creation of dance, but in its success at conservation. Its signature style was neither an especially elegant art form like no, nor a restrained art form that concealed the coquettish female body. It was an ordinary dance school in Kyoto during the late Edo period. Its repertoires had many dances in common with other schools, with, with other dance schools. However, while trends in the popular entertainment conditioned other dance schools, only the Inoue school has been sheltered from fashion by the geisha community. Thank you.